this is one of those rare real estate lead generation strategies where you get both buyer leads and seller leads for relatively the same amount of work. And something else that I really like about this particular lead gen strategy is that you can execute it for pretty much free. It doesn't take that much time to do it. Regardless of experience, you're able to execute this strategy and you can get started right now. So let's look at what the strategy actually is, how to execute it, and how to convert those real estate leads as they come in. So the strategy is pretty simple. We're essentially targeting home renters that we know are renting and offering them the opportunity to purchase rather than paying somebody else's mortgage. Now, at the same time, we're playing the other side as well, where we're connecting with landlords, aka non-owner occupied homeowners, and offering them the opportunity to sell without dealing with the headache landlord. Now, as mentioned earlier, this strategy, once you get it going, you're able to generate buyer leads and seller leads once you get everything set up. So let's look at that step-by-step -step process right now, because remember, you're able to execute on this strategy regardless of your experience. You can get started right now. So first, you're gonna log into your MLS. Then you're gonna go to your residential lease search. And then you're gonna search based off of the homes that have been leased, not via if they're active right now or not. But more specifically, we're gonna look for homes that have been leased in the last six months and older, which we're gonna go back 36 months. Now, of course, initially you're gonna get way too many results. So you're gonna to need to zoom in to the particular area that you're looking to farm. Now, all you wanna do is highlight the area that you actually want to farm. So in this example, we're gonna say this area right here, which then you can go to the results, then highlight all, and then hit export. Now, layout wise and functionality wise, your MLS may look a little bit different than mine, but I just wanted you to see how it worked in a more macro level. Your functionality, again, is gonna look slightly different. But at this point, what you have is a verifiable, highly targeted list that you can now reach out to. And the reason that we're reaching out to these renters is because we know that they're either presently renting or at one point in the near past, they were renting. So what happens now is we reach out to the renters and we also reach out to the landlords, AKA the homeowners. And here's one thing that's gonna come up because I always get this whenever I share this strategy with our real estate team. Why are we going back 36 months? Well, the reason that we're going back 36 months is because many renters will renew for that next year and the year after that. And the other reason we go back 36 months is because this is supposed to be a very targeted list. And many of us don't and shouldn't farm an area that has thousands upon thousands of homes. So as an example, if your area only has 300 homes that you're farming, we're only gonna have a call list of 15 to 20 properties. So that's why we add additional months so we have more properties to reach out to. And now that we have the overview of the strategy and the step-by-step -step on how to actually prepare this strategy, now we need to work on the conversion. How are we gonna actually convert this particular strategy into business? Well, now you get to make a decision. So let's start off with the renters. You can either cold call the individuals that you pulled up on that list you can send them a direct mail piece or you can door knock them. Those are three modalities to reach the individuals that you just pulled up on your MLS. From a cold calling perspective, you can get that contact information from companies like Remind or the title companies that you work with. There's plenty of services out there that will gladly sell you the information of these renters. Now, if you're gonna send them a direct mail piece, you can use companies like Vistaprint or Rocket Print and Mail. And here again, there's a lot of direct response companies that will gladly send these mail pieces for you and personalize them for you as well. Now, when it comes to door knocking, this is something that you can execute on right Right now, as soon as you hit that like button on that YouTube video, you can get into your car and go to the area and start door knocking those properties that you just pulled up. Now, what's important to recognize here is that you now have a highly targeted list of renters that are renting in the area that you farm. So you're very familiar with this area. But how you're gonna actually see success in acquiring these leads and ultimately converting these leads is by the messaging that you put out. And since they're renters, you wanna address the pain points of paying somebody else's mortgage. And you might also wanna share why it might be a good idea to go ahead and purchase now than rather than wait. And of course, illustrating how qualifying for a mortgage may not be so far out of reach. That's the type of messaging that's gonna resonate with renters right now. And on the flip side, we're gonna do the complete opposite with the sellers. Because now that you know that the properties that you pulled up have a renter in them, well, you know that they have an owner that's not them. And to get the owner information, that's pretty simple as well. You can go to the county record. And once again, you can hit up title companies, Remind, Red X, or any other company out there that will gladly sell you their contact information. Which in this case, if you decide to cold call those homeowners, you can use Red X to get their contact information 
and their phone number. Now, if you want the special discount for Reddix, go ahead and click on the link down below. And given that you're targeting sellers, you're also gonna wanna send them a direct mail piece, which of course you don't wanna send it to the property that you just pulled up. Pro tip here. You wanna send it to the property where they actually live. So this strategy will require a few more resources, but really lean on your title companies because most of them will gladly help you out with this information. And when it comes to messaging, you're essentially beating on the drum that being a landlord is tough. And it is something that a lot of individuals just don't wanna do anymore. You also might wanna share that right now might be a good idea to go ahead and sell because of all the equity they now may have thanks to the rise in home values. And for good measure with the messaging, you also wanna highlight the amount of property taxes that they're paying on that property. Now, if you found value in this video, go ahead and comment MLS down below. And to see another strategy that's gonna help you grow your real estate business, check out this video right here.